Good morning. My name is Nurul Ashiki bin Lima Mayusof. BS 17160686. In this presentation, I will like to explain about introduction and cost. In introductions, urban trees suffer a small problem than other forests. This is because due to the differences on impact of a man on the environment, man impact can cause stress towards urban forests. A number of potential problems of urban trees can be detected. However, these issues can be discussed to prevent potential problem in future. Next is cost. Urban forestry conducted at a small scale. Large samplings planting that is required intensive aftercare will cost high in the maintenance, especially in irrigation and care. An appropriate technology and careful planning will minimize the cost of regular maintenance and the benefit will be maximized. However, poorly tree planting campaign can be highly cost as it might get misdirect and inadequate support. Hello, my name is Loga. Today I'm going to present about structural damage. Structural damage can be divided into two, which is direct and indirect damage. Direct damage caused by the tree mechanical action of any part of tree that direct contact with the structure. For example, tree abutting the walls and when the roots this damaging the pavement, as we can see here. Indirect damage when the tree influences the soil moisture level of substrate prone to shrink and expand. For example, ground is dehydrated due to the transpiration of the leaf and draw off the moisture from the soil. Structural damage can be avoided if the management chooses the right tree species. Secondly, lot bearing soil cell, which can provide the stability for the paved surface. Third, planting distance. Planting distance provides space for the root to grow more. Fourth, root bearing, which can prevent the roots from going deeper and deeper and away from the building. I am Anshi Ching. I would like to present the next potential problems of urban trees, which is unorganized waste disposal. What is the definition of unorganized waste disposal? Unorganized waste disposal is the management of waste is not properly managed by humans. How this can be happened? The waste products such as tires, bottles, and other industrial byproducts easily thrown and not managed properly by humans. This waste product actually can be recycled, but due to the laziness and irresponsibility of humans, they have made these waste products thrown easily and often covers under the trees or several acres of the urban forest. This will result the urban forest becomes dumping ground. So unorganized waste disposal is one of the potential problems of the urban tree. Good morning. I am Phil Fernandez and I will be reporting about vandalism on urban forests. Vandalism is the deliberate destruction of public or private property. Urban forests can either be publicly or privately owned, yet either way, vandalism constrains the flow of benefits that we can derive from these trees and increases the cost of planting programs. The main factors for tree vandalism include boredom, misbehavior, lack of appreciation of trees, collection for wood, and damage by livestock. The figure shows example for the factors for tree vandalism. On the left is an example for damage by livestock. During the early stage, the sweet trees are easily reached by foraging or grazing animals, which make them vul vulnerable for consumption of these animals. On the right shows an example for misbehavior or lack of appreciation of trees. Not all people appreciate the benefits that we can derive from these trees, so they will not hesitate to destroy them. On a study conducted by Richardson and Shackleton in 2014 about the causes and extent of sweet tree damage, 
42% is the mortality rate of the recently planted sweet peas on 11 small eastern cakes. In order to avoid this from happening, certain strategies are being laid out, and it includes planting on sensible areas. These areas are the areas wherein the threats that were mentioned earlier are not present. Next is redesigning protective structures. Protective structure is ideal, especially during the early stage wherein the sweet trees are very vulnerable. Next is relocating livestock. Livestock and sweet trees should be separated, especially during the early stage. Next is engendering community participation, which is very ideal on every forestry or urban forestry projects. Lastly, ownership in all aspects of tree planting. That is all my report. Thank you. Hello there, my name is Eric Jared and today I'm going to present about the management issue. So for management issue, there is a certain part that we need to looking for which is the site con the considerations which is uh, whenever we want to plant a tree in urban area we need to see the site conditions and what kind of tree that actually is suitable to be planted over there so for example like if you're going to the place that having soil compactions and poor drainage the tree that you need to find is like the raw bush um, rooting system and tolerance of some degree of anaerobic of conditions but if you're going to the place that having low soil nutrition level, you need to find uh, the tree that actually having a deep rooting system and also low physiology demands of nutrients but if the site is actually having low water availability you need to find uh, a tree that actually having a variety of mechanism uh, to reduce the water stress and uh, for certain uh, area conditions there is actually soil pollutions and we actually have a tree that tolerance to pollutants in questions so this kind of tree that need to be planted to the site that actually having uh, soil pollutions and for the next part is for the air pollutions uh, for the air pollution, you need to find a tree that also tolerance to the air pollution, um, obviously. And if the site condition is like nearby to the buildings or structures, you need to find uh, a tree that non-aggressive and not the deep rooting because otherwise it will destroy the structures and also the buildings that actually nearby to the trees and also for the site conditions that having exposure to salt spray uh, the tree that can be planted over there is also tolerance to the salt tr um, spray but for the place that having uh, like exposure to the strong wind you need to find uh, a tree that actually having a very deep rooting system otherwise if the trees doesn't have the deep rooting system it will just blow away from the strong winds and uh, branches also having the tendency to split and break in strong winds landscape planning and design so whenever like we want to plan something and design um, the species and the choice that we try to cultivate we need to consider a certain aspect which is um, the grow rates the red competitions shed, toler shed tolerance and etc uh, tree management establishment issues which is um, there is a four parts that actually they consider which is the water requirement um, need for irrigations and the next part is the grow rates so a need for weeding and other k will be less for fast growing species and the third part is suspect 
ability to disease. Uh, this is actually for the maintenance for the cause for species and varieties um, are likely to be lower. And the last part is the growth habits. Because some of the trees is like you need to pruning to maintain the shapes and in order to do that you need to um, having higher cost of maintenance. I think that's all for management issue. I'm Harley Matun. I will conclude the presentation. In the conclusion, urban tree need careful planning and thought before planted. They require good management skills that could answer the management issues. For instance, where to plant? What is the site condition? Are the tree stock available? Desirable tree characteristics should be determined before it could be planted. For example, planting trees at a garden restaurant. What kind of characteristics that should be considered as it should not disturb the customers and the owners? Are the trees should be shady? What about the roots? This kind of question need to be answered to make a good management plan. That's all from us. Thank you.